So at this point I'm ready to start etching one of my Damascus blades. So what I've done is I've gone in with a shiny super awesome yellow nail polish and I've masked off the areas that I do not want to be etched because when you etch the metal you're, you're basically removing one of the two metals in the Damascus and one metal gets eaten away faster than the other metal and that's where you get that cool contrast so there will be microscopic peaks and valleys in this blade and for a ball bearing knife and something you want really smooth obviously that's a terrible idea so you gotta mask off all the important stuff. I masked off inside the pivot I even masked off inside the stop pin open and closed grooves just because um, so hopefully nail polish is strong enough to hold up to the ferric I'm going to use ferric chloride this time, not muriatic acid. And uh, for reference, if you didn't see previous video, this guy was etched with muriatic acid for, I don't even remember, 20 minutes maybe? 10, 20, something like that. Looks really cool, but there's not a lot of contrast, and the color difference could be a lot better. So, yeah, so I got that masked, masked off. I'm going to clean it really well um, because all these fingerprints could certainly cause some issues. And I'm going to etch the pocket clip at the same time so that they match and have an even time. So, yeah, after I clean it, I'm just going to dip it in ferric chloride and leave it for a while. So far, it's been just over two minutes. I can already start to see a bit of an etch. There's the pocket clip. It's hard to tell when it's so, uh, I don't know, oily for lack of a better word. Yeah, oh my gosh. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Alright, status update. 27 minutes. I checked it a few times and uh, certainly making progress. Hopefully I didn't do it too much. I don't know if there is a too much. Um, and then just over here I've got a bucket of tap water. So both metals are definitely etching at this point. Um, hopefully the lesser metal is etching more so we can kind of polish the high metal. This is the first Damascus blade I've ever etched, so I'm sort of a newbie at this, learning as I go along. There's a bit of scale on the blade that sort of comes off as I shake it in the water. Cool. The uh, nail polish is handy because it gives me a place to hold it. So we'll see. It's still scaly and dirty, and we'll clean it off and see what it looks like up close. Handy old toothbrush. Gets all that scale off perfectly. So now it's a super nice, even etch which I don't know if that's exactly what I want but once I dry it off I can see if there's any height difference between the two metals and then that'll make it easy to polish the top metal so I think I'm starting to figure this out this is the clip I cleaned it off, I scotch brighted it because it was really dull before, I like the underside. Scotch brighted the top. There is some uh, some height to it, which is cool. If I etched for longer, there'd be more height. Um, I think the trick is now to etch it again just for a minute or two because the one metal, the one that etches more, blackens quickly. 
and then the top metal will stay shiny. So I'm going to try that. Um, so that's after a minute of re-etching. Pretty good contrast. I mean, this muriatic one has better contrast, to be honest. And this, this one didn't etch the top metal. It stayed super shiny. So we'll see. It's a learning game. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you out there are watching this going, you etch, you know, you etch Damascus all the time, you know exactly what you're doing. Well, not me. I'm learning. So I scotch brighted the surface down. And um, the contrast is gone. The height difference is still there. So, I mean, you can see the pattern. But it's not very contrasty. And I gotta say, that ferric pitted every single surface. So the steel looks like garbage now. I don't know if that's showing up. Yeah, right there. Both the highs and the lows are super duper pitted and it looks like crap. This thing was mirror smooth when it went in. And now everything is just pitted and garbage. So, kind of disappointed about that. Whereas, again, this muriatic one, which was 15 or 20 minutes, this has no finishing work afterwards. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I got this damn steel from Brian Ty, and he told me muriatic acid. And he said, you know, if it's new acid, maybe 15 minutes. If it's old acid, maybe 45 minutes. Heat it up, makes it work faster. But he etches his blades really hard so that you can drag your fingernail across here. And it goes tink, 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 tink. Um, and then he polishes the highs off. Uh, after 25, 30 minutes in the ferric, I'm not getting nearly that kind of contrast. And it's pitting everything. Um, so maybe muriatic is the key for damn steel. Anyway, it's bedtime. I'm going to do some Googling and uh, figure out what other people are doing for damn steel because I've seen, you know, really good results. And I'm sure I can obviously save this one and uh, do it better for the other two damn steel blades that I have. But yeah, the clip too. I, I tried to sand it down with 800 grit and it's getting there. I mean, I can keep going. Um, but this one just looks way better. I was just hoping for a much darker contrast, as opposed to the silver and gray. I was hoping for silver and dark, dark gray. Anywho, toodles. So I've been playing with etching damn steel more this morning, and I think I got the perfect solution figured out. Um, I googled it, and apparently ferric chloride is not the best to use on damn steel because the two metals are very similar, and they etch at a similar rate. Um, so a lot of people say muriatic acid, which is what Brian Ty told me, but a lot of people in Europe also say um, sulfuric acid, which is battery acid. And for all of our aluminum anodizing stuff, we have tons of sulfuric acid that we don't need anymore. So I put together a little rig here, and heating up the acid makes it work a lot faster. So it's just a hot plate with an aluminum plate, maybe that's not aluminum. Um, little plastic jar full of sulfuric acid, battery acid. This is about 33% pure acid to water. That's exactly how you buy it, as battery acid. Uh, and this is just a jug of water with baking soda in it to neutralize the acid. And the whole thing's heated up. I got it at about 106 degrees right now. It doesn't have to be that hot, but it just... The hotter it is, the faster it works. And this stuff works fast. Um, so this is the blade that we etched in the ferric last night and it's it's really pitted unfortunately but it at least it's an even finish and it looks kind of cool um, and it's got some good contrast to it so it should work really good for this um, so let's just etch her up so I'm only gonna put this in for one minute and if you look real close you can watch it All right, y'all ready for this? <clears throat> you can already see the pattern coming. Should 
Shake the bubbles off. Twenty seconds. You can see it bubbling a lot. Forty-three seconds. Fifty-three. Starting to etch a lot, which means both metals are probably getting etched. So at sixty, let's pull it out. Come on, and then into the neutralizing. Blang, blang, peoples. I've given up on the super high definition contrast, like etching away a ton of one metal. Um, it's just a lot of work, because you got to sand. Sand it through, and every time you sand, you sand away the color of the low level, and all you really want to do is be able to see the two colors. Be able to see the contrast. And I don't know about you, but I can see that contrast just fine. Over here, there's a bunch of clips. Various combinations of acids, and I tried ferric again, didn't like it. Ferric pretty much etches both metals at the same time. So that's annoying. And then we did another blade. There we go. About the same. This is the one we etched in ferric, and then again, and this was just etched in sulfuric for a minute. So you can see it's still really shiny. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then still got one more to do. Alright, well let's do this one. And since we're only going for a minute in hot acid, it doesn't have a chance to eat away the nail polish. <laughs> Works really, really well. Go. Action. Action. So here's that third blade. Uh, it's a shiny blade, so it's going to have a good etch. It might show up better than the last one did. Here we go. Ten seconds. You can already start to see contrast. The bubbles are starting to form. Starting to see a lot more contrast. Coming up on thirty seconds. Looks fantastic. Forty seconds. Fifty or two quarters, as Eric likes to say. <laughs> and uno minito. You can see there's bubbles everywhere now. I think that's above my limit. <laughs> Looks like a science experiment. Can I get a what what? In the what? Oh, that looks great. Mm, glare. <laughs> it's too shiny. Now I've just got them soaking in acetone to get rid of the nail polish. Gonna leave those outside for a little while because it's stinky. All right, guys, quick wrap up to this video. Just got a couple things to go over. Um, these Damascus blades look freaking nuts. I absolutely love them. So Tyler, this one is yours. You're allowed to jump up and down right now and be all giddy. 
You want it smooth, stone washed handles, very plain, very simple. Um, right now the spacers are silver. I might make them blue. Uh, let me know, buddy. This thing flips like a rocket. It's a light etch, but I love it.